How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to load filaments into the ANET ET4X 3D printer. Loading the filaments is a straightforward process, but if you've never done it before, it can be a little bit daunting. The first step is to place the spool of filament onto the spool holder located on the frame of the machine. Make sure that the filament is rotating counterclockwise to prevent it from binding up. The first step in loading the filament is to place it through the filament runout sensor. You'll hear a click when it goes through all the way, and you'll advance it all the way up to the gear. Select Change Filament on the 3D printer screen, and you'll notice you have a few settings here. We can change the amount of filament that extrudes, the speed it extrudes at, and the temperature of the extrusion. We'll select Load, which will start the extrusion at 210, which is standard for PLA, and we're going to extrude 30 centimeters of material. Once the loading process has started, you'll see the gears start turning, and you can tell if the 3D printer has caught the filament because you'll feel a little bit of a tug as it feeds it into the tube. Once the filament is loading, you'll see it travel through the Bowden tube until it gets to the extruder. Once you see filament extruding, it's a good time to check to make sure the color is correct. If you used a different color before, you may have to advance a little bit of extra material to fully purge it out. Once the loading process starts, you can use a pair of tweezers to remove any of the filament, and you're ready to go. And now you've successfully loaded filament into your ANET ET4X 3D printer. I plan on making a few more videos covering some of the features of this 3D printer, so let me know if there's something in specific you'd like to see. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.